Welcome to the tutorial on bar model drawing for multiplication word problems. If you are new to model drawing, I recommend you first view the basic model drawing videos which can be accessed on the same website where you found this video at this web address. The videos can be found in the grade level folders for 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th grade. You can find even more bar model problems in the bar model problems folder. Before we start, I'd like to go over a couple tips for modeling multiplication problems. The first tip is when a problem says times as many, be very careful and add just one unit bar at a time. In fact, I suggest that you count as you add each unit. This is one time as many, two times as many, and so on. If we don't do it this way, students are likely to see four times as many and assume that they need to add four units to the base unit bar, when in reality, that would then make it five times as many because we have to include the base unit bar that we started with. The second tip is to draw smaller units to begin with. You may need the space, so it's better to start small so you have plenty of room to develop your model drawing. The third tip is to double check your problem. Make sure that it illustrates the problem. Read the problem again and make sure they both agree. The last tip is really more of a reminder. Students will approach their computations differently. Some students will skip written steps because they are able to do some calculations quickly in their heads. One student may use repeated addition, while another student goes straight to multiplication and so on. There is more than one way to approach most every problem. Here is a simple mixed operation multiplication problem. Tabitha took four times as many selfies as Cassie. If they took 60 selfies all together, how many selfies did Tabitha take? First, we will rewrite the question in sentence form in order to maintain our focus. Tabitha took blank selfies. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. We should start our model with one unit bar each for Tabitha and Cassie. Since the problem tells us that Tabitha took four times as many selfies as Cassie, let's count those unit bars on. The base unit bar is one time as many, this is two times as many, three times as many, and four times as many. We are told that they took 60 selfies altogether, so we should bracket the total units and show that. We are asked how many selfies Tabitha took, so our question mark should go here. Now we're ready to let our model drive the math. If the total includes 5 units which represents 60 selfies, then 1 unit equals 60 divided by 5 which equals 12. So each of these unit bars equals 12 selfies. Since Tabitha has 4 unit bars, then 4 units equals 12 times 4 which equals 48. Tabitha took 48 selfies. This is a similar mixed operation multiplication problem. I'd like you to try this one on your own. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to rewrite the question in sentence form? Did you identify the important information? Does your model look similar to mine? Did you follow the same process or did you approach it another way? Did you find that Gerald had 165 ribbons? Here's another problem. A rope that's 1,530 inches long is cut into two pieces. The length of one piece is two times the length of the other. What is the length of the longer piece? First, we will rewrite the question in sentence form in order to maintain our focus. The longer piece of rope is blank inches long. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. We should start our model with one unit bar each for the shorter piece of rope and the longer piece of rope. Since the problem tells us that one of the pieces of rope is two times the length of the other, we can add a unit bar on for the longer piece. The base unit is one time as many and one more is two times as many. The rope was 1,530 inches long before it was cut, so we should bracket the model and show that. Since we are asked the length of the longer piece of rope, our question mark goes here. We have a total of three units, which equals 1,530. So one unit equals 1,530 divided by three, which equals 510. If each of these units represents 510 inches, then the longer piece of rope, which is two units, equals 510 times two, 
or 1,020. The longer piece of rope is 1,020 inches long. This is a similar mixed operation multiplication problem. I'd like you to try this one on your own. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to rewrite the question in sentence form? Did you identify the important information? Does your model look similar to mine? Did you follow the same process or did you approach it another way? Did you find that the longer piece of fabric is 1,230 feet long? Let's look at another problem. Rodney had three times as much money as Clarice. Ginger had two times as much money as Clarice. If Ginger had $98, how much money did Rodney have? First, we will rewrite the question in sentence form in order to maintain our focus. Rodney had blank dollars. When rereading the problem, we identify the important information we need to solve the problem. We should start our model with one unit bar each for Rodney, Clarice, and Ginger. Since the problem tells us that Rodney had three times as much money as Clarice, his base unit bar is one time as many, this is two times as many, and this is three times as many. We are also told that Ginger had two times as much money as Clarice. The base unit bar is one time as many, and this is two times as many. Finally, we are told that Ginger had $98, so we can show that at the end of her unit bar. Since we have to find out how much money Rodney had, our question mark should go at the end of his unit bar. Now we're ready to let our model drive the math. I see that we know that Ginger has $98, so that means that two units equals $98. Therefore, one unit equals $98 divided by two, which is $49. Let's go ahead and write that in for each of our units. We have to find out how much Rodney had, and he has three units, which equals $49 times three, which equals $147. Rodney had $147. This is the last problem, and I think you can do it on your own because it's just like the last one. Pause the video while you solve it. When you're ready to check your answer, start the video again. Did you remember to rewrite the question in sentence form? Did you identify the important information? Does your model look similar to mine? Did you follow the same process, or did you approach it another way? Did you find that Harry had 24 vacation days? This concludes this tutorial on multiplication word problems with bar model drawing. I hope you will take the time to explore other Singapore math videos. It's just plain good math.